Hello there and welcome to Schofield Studios, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Walking Dead Season 5. Also, just so you know, I'll probably not be reviewing Season 6 until next week, because I have a lot of reviews and rankings to do. I have A Quiet Place, A Quiet Place Part 2, Corella, Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, that I have to do my top 10 favorite comedies of all time. So it's going to be a very busy next couple of days. So you won't see season six of The Walking Dead reviewed until later. Still, tell me in the comments what you thought of season five if you've seen it. Now sit back, relax, and let's begin. And I think this is another very solid, pretty good The Walking Dead season that actually has a lot of flaws. So let's go on to the good. And I think there's a lot of good zombie action. There's a, there's a lot of good storytelling. It's well written. And I think the characters are even more complex in this series. They have more emotions. And as you know, they get better every season. The plotline where former police officers are kidnapping people and then telling them that they saved them and then making those people do their work, I thought that was actually a very good plotline. And it found a very satisfying ending to it. I thought Father Gabriel was a very good new character, a nice addition to the series, even though he doesn't have that much screen time in the final few episodes. He was still very good. It also has some very sad moments like when Noah dies or um, I forgot the name of the character but the wife of Deanna he dies and it has these very well directed and very sad uh, deaths in this series that really has the emotional punch that some, some deaths in The Walking Dead did not have. In season one people would just randomly die and we won't really care because we don't know the characters that well. But here it has meaning. It goes with the story and plotline. And there's also some very good acting here to go with those sad deaths. The acting gets better every season. I think it's really good here. And when they get to Alexandria, the show just gets two times better than what it was. And that's mostly because they really do a good job developing and setting up this conflict between Rick's group and Alexandria. And you can actually feel the tension. And some characters become even more interesting, like Carol, who becomes a much more major character. He, she's much more fun to watch. Morgan, even though showing up in a couple episodes, still a very fun character. And when it comes to Glenn, Noah, Maggie, Michonne, Aaron, they're all very well characters in this season. And this season probably ends with the best cliffhanger and setup for season six. Every final episode of the season likes to set up the next season. I think this one does it the best. And that was it for the good, but there actually is a few flaws for this series season. So let's go on to the bad. And at the beginning of the season, the Terminus plotline where those people turn out to be cannibals, that was rushed a lot. It was resolved very quickly. I mean, in the final episode, they just show up. Turns out, oh, they're bad people. And then in the first episode this season, they quickly blow up the base and kill most of them. So they're not as big as a threat as season 5 set them up to be. Actually, most of the problems comes from the first half of the season. As some parts go a little bit too slow, it's not as interesting as the second part or as interesting as most of the series to this point. And again, they just rush some plot lines and really, it, some things just go a little bit too slow. Also, Rick, you don't really know 100% if you want to root for him. 
the way Rick is betrayed, it kind of feels like he's a walking dead villain. If you're trying to put it in the perspective of the other people, he's very, very bloody and careless with his decisions. And just the way he's written this season, he kind of feels like a villain. But that was it for the bat, so let's go on to our final ranking. And I'm going to give this a 8.4 out of 10. I thought it was still a very decent, very good Walking Dead season. Like most of the seasons up to now, it does have its flaws, but it's still very entertaining. It's binge watchable. It, it draws you in, yet still it has a lot of flaws. Some characters are not really betrayed the way you want them to and kind of act very out of character. Some parts of the season go slow and that Terminus plotline was much more rushed than I wanted it to be. Still, very good season and it deserves a watch. And thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and click the bell if you want to see more from me. Tell me in the comments any movies you want me to review in the future. This has been Schofield Studios, where you're the audience. And cut.